So what do you do when you suddenly find yourself unemployed? How, how do you look after your mental and physical health? Which is so important because this can affect your mind, it can affect your outlook on life. And that said, how do you stay, and very importantly, how do you stay positive during your period of unemployment? It's, is it even possible to improve your career when you're not working? And, and if so, how do you do that? How do you keep yourself busy and stay productive? Now, these are just some of the questions that I will answer in this episode. Now, in this video, of course, I'm talking from a South African perspective, but I know that this is a global phenomenon. The official unemployment rate here in South Africa is at a record high of 34.4%, meaning that about 7.8 million South Africans find themselves jobless. Now this is worrisome and very bad for the economy and trends show that unemployment is concentrated mostly amongst the youth and the black African population. The labor market is also more favorable to men than women. The sad reality is that most of us, we know someone, if not more than one person, who is currently unemployed, especially here in South Africa. And this is no longer limited to qualifications and years of experience, but even graduates are now also experiencing difficulties in their job search. It can take months. So it's, it's no surprise that some professionals, they spend long stretches of time unemployed. Levels of unemployment here in South Africa, and I guess it's, a, it's all over the world, it has been exacerbated exponentially so by the economic impact of the coronavirus outbreak. Millions of South Africans, millions of them, find themselves unemployed. And that number is only expected to rise. And that's it. Just because you are currently unemployed and of course conducting a job search doesn't mean that there are no opportunities for productivity. Even if you're not working, you can still improve your career and yourself. Despite difficult conditions, there are many ways, many ways to grow and stay hopeful during this time. It's important that you find ways firstly to stay positive. That's good for your mental health. Keeping busy and productive is absolute key. And in addition, what I will share with you in this video will most definitely even help push your resume to the top of the next pile. So number one is create a schedule and stick to it. This point is not just applicable for those of you who find yourself unemployed, but also to those who don't have a traditional nine to five job. And let me explain. Now I've been my own boss for the past 20 years. So I'm in control of my time. And for me, it was always important to have time to do the things that I love. I'm not the type of person that would wait until he's 65 and retired to start living the life that he wants to live. Now, there's nothing wrong with it, but, but that was, that's just me. Time is for me one of the most important commodities and I wanted to be in control of my time. So I know the importance of having a schedule and, and what you need to understand is that, you know, unemployment is not a vacation, it's not a holiday. There is nothing wrong. There, let me just clear that one. There's nothing wrong with using your time, I mean, in between jobs to relax, but your primary focus is, is best placed on being productive and moving in the right direction of your next opportunity. It's fine to take a few days after you're finished at work to relax, but try not to get too comfortable, and that is very important. Keeping a schedule is one way to stay productive and focused. If you continue to start your day early, for instance, you are more likely to get more done. And also, and very importantly, keeping up with day-to-day -day tasks makes you less likely to grow, to grow depressed and inactive. Now, that's very, very important because if you, if you don't guard you can get depressed, you can get uh, inactive, and that can lead to many other things that, that you don't really want. And number two is uh, consider temporary work or freelancing. One of the easiest ways to bridge the gap between jobs is to, is to find temporary work or work with a temp agency. While many unemployed people, while they job hunt religiously, and there's nothing wrong with it, remember to include temp agencies in your search. Now, when looking at temporary opportunities while unemployed, choose something, and that's just another piece of advice, choose something that makes good use 
of your existing professional skills. You, you, you will find yourself more in demand as hiring managers, and it goes without saying, they want to minimize the learning curve on short-term assignments, and that is where you will come in handy, and your skills, of course. I recorded an episode a while ago about 12 ways to make money as a teenager, easy ways to make money as a teenager in South Africa, where I shared tips and advice on starting a small business, I mean, as a teenager, with little to no startup costs. Now, you, you might not be a teenager, but I, I would advise you to go watch that video because I'm sure you'll pick up very helpful pieces of advice and perhaps it will trigger something else in your mind that will help you just to bridge the gap and maybe find new opportunities while you are unemployed. And number three is exercise. Now, much like organizing your life, another good way to keep yourself enthusiastic and healthy is, is to exercise. Keeping your mental and physical health intact is very important. It doesn't take much to get slightly more active and exercise can most definitely help you to stay positive. Even a walk around the block a few times a week can do a lot for keeping you motivated and determined. If you take care of yourself, it goes without saying, even if you're not a runner like me, go on walks, breathing the fresh air every day. That way you can make the most of your extra time. Number four is volunteer. Now every unemployment guide will tell you, they will tell you that volunteering experience, it just looks great on a resume. It is also a wonderful way to contribute to your favorite course, stay busy, connect with other professionals. It will deepen your sense of gratitude for what you have, even if the employment time is difficult. Doing good is a true mood booster and is sure to help you stay optimistic while looking for your next job. Now, a great way to build your confidence and sense of purpose is to volunteer for a cause that, that you care about. Sometimes you can even accrue some experience in your field by volunteering at certain organizations and it will help you to get out of the house and importantly meet and mingle with other people. And number five is learn something new. Now if you're wondering what to do when unemployed beyond looking for a job, try learn something new. Whether through a seminar, an online class, uh, or a community college, use the time to learn a new skill, a new language, things like that. I mean, looking for ways to increase your job skills while unemployed is a good way to move forward as well. Look for certifications or training you can take, especially those offered for free. And if you look, there are some of them out there. You just have to look. And there are many institutions who offer courses for free. If you don't know where to start, just ask. Ask around. Start with your circle of friends. Your, ask on social media, your, neighbor, your neighborhood WhatsApp groups. Just ask. Another great option if you are unemployed is online work. Now, many different sites, they offer a variety of ways to make money online. Only thing you need to make sure is that the site that you're working for is reputable. And I mean, there are so much you can can do if you really want to. I think it was Zig Zagler who said, if you're not willing to learn, no one can help you. If you are determined to learn, no one can stop you. I'm not sure if it was him. Just let me know in the comment section below if it was him. And lastly is get organized. Now, unemployment is a great and excellent opportunity for you to get organized. What you can do is embark on some spring cleaning, go through old boxes and get rid of the things that, that you don't need. Streamlining your life will help you die head first into the next chapter. Plus, it will help you feel like, like the unemployment time was spent productively. And that's also, once again, good for your mental health. Thank you so much, everybody, for once again joining me on today's episode. If this episode was of value to you, can I kindly ask you, if you haven't, to please subscribe to my channel, like this video, and share it, and leave me a comment in the comment section below. Thank you so much. And I... I will see you soon. Bye for now.